Let me make this very clear to you with this beautiful example. In this case, the way I built these tables, the employee tables distribution key was DEPNO. The department tables distribution key was DEPNO. And they are joining, as you can see, on DEPNO equals DEPNO. Since both of these have the same distribution key of DEPNO, and that's the join column, there is no data movement because guess what? The matching rows were hashed and they went to the spoo that they're supposed to and they're all matched up. That's great design. As a matter of fact, when you choose that distribution key, do you choose for perfect distribution? Do you choose for retrieval? Or do you do it based on joins? The most impact? joins. At the top, you can see both of the tables. Don't worry too much about that. I want you to notice the actual spoos down there. And I want you to say, listen, how were both of these tables distributed? And you say, they were both distributed on department number. Debt knows the name. Take a look at this data. All of the 100s from both tables went to spoo number one. The 200s, SPOO 2. And as you can see, the matching rows are hashed. That's the beautiful part about hashing. It hashes things consistently. And that's how we've been able to get the matching rows on the same SPOO before we even had to join it. Now, every join will never have any data movement. And that's the fastest join you can have in the TZ. It's called co-location. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The next is Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.